Did you know doing core exercise can actually help out with your rotator cuff? I know, it sounds silly. I have a whole article based upon this I will put at the very end of this video, but for now you're gonna have to trust me. A bird dog or quadruped, quadruped position is a good starting point for this, and we're gonna use the arm drive portion to help decrease rotator cuff and shoulder pain. Enjoy. This exercise is gonna help out with stabilization of the torso as well as the shoulder blade with shoulder conditions. So if you have shoulder pain, this is still a good exercise for you. And in fact, we do have people that have arm numbness who actually get better doing this, this one exercise when done well. So here's the steps, okay? It's portion of a bird dog exercise, except we're only gonna use the arm drive portion. Some people call this the quadruped. So we're gonna be in this position here, form a nice coffee table, okay? I'm gonna press the ground away, which is gonna set the blades. Okay, I'm not trying to round the mid back or drop the coffee, I just wanna set the blades. Got it? Toes on the ground. All of these positions are just below the ball and sockets above them like I was a nice coffee table. Okay, give me double chin. Stabilize this portion here by pinching and then use your breath to press out both on both portions at the same time. Now we're gonna use the arm drive and I'll use my right hand just so you can see. Reach out along the ground, keep everything else exactly the same, reach to as far as you can to the window, or that's a mirror in this case, and then act like you're punching someone. You just wanna form a really strong fist and crush, like you're looking for that pistachio. That pistachio you get in that bag that doesn't have that little slit in it, so you go open it and you're just pissed, okay? Crush that pistachio, slowly return. That's your break. The other side, same thing, press through, reset, stabilize, Drive the arm, crush the pistachio. Commonly people extend with this position, so make sure that you're really keeping the same position you started with, okay? Go no more than 10 seconds. Again, the point of this is, is to create stabilization, create stabilization, create movement at the ball and socket. So if you've read my article on the pillar system as well as movements um, of the ball and sockets, then uh, you'll understand this. If not, I have the article in the corner. As well is uh, if you are looking for another video that is similar to this, another exercise which helps out with shoulder conditions, I provided a hand-picked video for you because you thought this video was cool. So subscribe to the channel and you guys get these things daily.